I was at an auction in Tonganoxi four or five years ago. And I saw it there and I just thought it was neat. And I waited around all day and finally got to be sold. It started out at a, I, well, they asked $10 for it. I, back and forth between a lady up to $20. I said 50 and she said, it's cool, but not that cool and walked off. And that, I don't know anything else about it really. It was in a, just in a shed out behind the house. In a local auction here? Yeah, about 25 miles west of here, I guess. It's an awesome, awesome piece of American Thanks. folk art. It belongs to a tradition of bird trees that you usually find in Pennsylvania German mm -hmm. carving, but it's a great kind of composition. It could exist anywhere. Yeah. It's really hard to know exactly where uh -huh. this is made, most likely locally. It's got so many birds. It has little vignettes of things happening. Here's a mother robin feeding her young. Some of the positions of these birds are really beautifully done. That one that's turned around. That with the head turned. I mean, this guy was a master carver. Yeah. Probably dates to late 19th, early 20th century. It has a little bit of an Adirondack feel with the way that these pieces are put together. Uh -huh. It's got an untouched surface to it. Looks like the birds are carved from pine and painted. It is a beautiful thing. Conservatively, an auction estimate would be in the range of six to eight thousand dollars. But if I can make a little bit of a pun here, it could really take off. Mm -hmm. And I'll go out on a limb and say, you know, it could bring closer to ten thousand dollars at auction. Nice. And what I would recommend to you is that you get these pieces back on the tree. The beauty of the piece is yeah. in the completeness of it. All right. Thank you.